Hi guys. Yeah, today I thought I'll do a video rather than showing you some dance screens. So I thought let's interact. Let me let me let me have more interactions with you. So definitely we'll do we'll try to do a live webinar. So we, I'm just planning for a live uh, webinar. So in that sessions normally you can ask questions and uh, uh, we can uh, share more i mean more information on the topics so i get to know what what you have what kind of queries you have in mind we'll do that that will be announced shortly so let us continue our uh, session i hope you remember the last video so there was a small pause in the uh, you know in releasing the this video yeah to do a lot of uh, other uh, you know important tasks that came in so i thought okay let me take a break for some time and then continue so here after uh, i have kept some schedule for the upcoming videos so just to make sure that we have some continuity in our uh, various sessions so this is a part 2 so just to recap we discussed about the iot and how the iot can be applied in an agricultural domain so we are we are taking agriculture as a, uh, as an example so we saw the uh, the infrastructure that is required and uh, how we can what all things we can monitor in an agriculture field so we discussed few things in uh, in in short so people who are who have not seen that video please see that video the part 1 and then you can watch this part 2 so before we start anyone who is seeing this video who is a, who is very new to iot iot means internet of things it is predominantly to bring some kind of intelligence in in, uh, in terms of uh, monitoring certain process or uh, capturing some data from a data point in your environment so that it can send the data to your back end system and you can measure those data and then you can do some you can take some meaningful actions based on that data so that is iot so it is in a layman's language it's all about picking up some data from your data points and then relaying it back to a back end system for capturing the data you need a intelligent sensor or a device which has to be installed in your environment it could be your industrial environment or it could be your agricultural field it could be it could be anywhere so so that those data can be captured and relayed back to the back end system so this is this is this is predominantly on a high level on a, on a very high level on a very layman's language this is what iot does so this was basically the iot ecosystem i just presented la in the in our uh, last session so you as you can see there are different components one is the smart tags smart devices and smart sensors so these are the uh, you can say these are the modules that you have to place it in your environment and these modules are predominantly trying to capture data from your uh, various data sources how can this communicate to the back end it has to use some kind of connectivity if you have wifi these devices see smart tags or smart devices or smart sensor can connect to your wifi network or it can be a lora lora network or it can be to a through a bluetooth uh, it can talk to the respective gateways or it can be a cellular so these tags may can also have a cellular module and i mean the sim sim uh, sim cards so the data from these kind of devices has to be relayed if it's if it is having the radio module directly it can uh, send the data to your backup system if you are using a wifi or a lora or a bluetooth there should be a control gateway control gateway will be the end point for it to capture the data and uh, transmit this into your backend applications and the backend you have the iot middleware that is one which you which will be receiving your data it will it will push the data to the iot applications you may have some kind of uh, reporting and uh, analytics tool 
you can bring all the data and then you can do the analysis of the data through some kind of tool so this is our iot system ecosystem i'm, I'm just giving summarizing it we have discussed this in in length in our last session so let us use let us uh, visit one use case in today's session agriculture again so this is this is a use case for agriculture in a agriculture how this iot can be implemented in the iot uh, in the agriculture environment and what all we can do so the typical needs are the water uh, conservation so the water is very precious so you have to conserve it and how to optimize and how, how, how efficiently you can use that is one of the requirement crop yield management how much yield you can get from a agricultural field that's another critical business need crop planting planting life cycle management that's another need proper planning based on the the weather conditions that is another business need monitor and control pest pest is another critical uh, area where you need some kind of monitoring reduce agricultural machinery maintenance you have you will have some expensive machineries how you can basically reduce their maintenance costs so these are some of the hand-picked common problem that you find in any, in any agricultural uh, domain. So let me show you how it is done. I have put some pictures here. So the green one are typically the crops in an agricultural field. The first and foremost thing is you should know your land. You should know the, uh, the layout of your land properly. And I, I just do an analysis of the land and see how the crops are planted. I'm sure uh, you might be following some pattern you know, for uh, planting your crops. So you may give some distance and uh, I mean, some of the crop will be at a distance, EQ distance from each other. So this is a plan. So, Create all those layout in a, as a simple plan. Now, the first first step, identify your, your first business need. So say for example, your business need is the water conservation. Okay. So you might have implemented your uh, sprinkler uh, systems. And now you want to just make, make sure that, okay, so the sprinkler system, uh, will be switched on based on the condition of the soil, how much humidity or the moisture is there in, your, in the soil. For that, if you want to really automate uh, this kind of process, you have to keep a sensor. So the red ones are typically the sensors. The sensor can have the device or a tag or a smart device, whatever you say. Uh, these kind of devices will have multiple sensors. It can predominantly measure the moisture content in the water, in the, in the soil. It can monitor the, it can sense, some of the sensors can sense the mineral control in the, in the, in the soil. And uh, some of them basically can monitor the pest. So this device can have multiple, multiple sensors attached to it, each doing different, different tasks. So now keeping the sensors, so the sensors has to be kept in the field based on your uh, based on the uh, size of the land so there are some there are some few industry standard measurement uh, like you know uh, specifications so you have to keep the you basically keep all these kind of sensors in the field uh, based on the specifications so the, the red ones are typically represented as these kind of sensors or sensors or devices so once that is there so whenever there is moisture content when, whenever the soil uh, is completely dried up what it does is it will continuously send the data from the field and you can see two control gateways on top so, so these are the gateways which receives the data from all these kind of sensors the red ones are sensors so continuously the data will be pushed on to the control gateway and from the control gateway what it does is it it takes all the data 
and uh, the data will be pushed onto a iot middleware packet so when the soil is dried up again we we going back to the the water conservation so when the soil is completely dried up what happens is based on the data collected at the control gateway it can give instructions to your sprinkler systems saying that uh, sending commands saying that okay you can please switch on switch on your uh, sprinkler systems so i'm i'm just saying not well, no it's not like a voice uh, kind of thing but it says it's basically a direction you can you can attach or program a direction to the sprinkler system control panel it, it, it may have a smart control panel you give the data to the control panel and it could be a, i mean the connection could be of various types sometimes you can wire it and connect to the sprinkler control panel uh, saying that okay switch on the i mean uh, the soil is dried up switch, uh, switch on that uh, sprinkler so sprinkler system basically based on the data it receives like uh, the, param the parameters it uh, switches on the sprinkler system so in this way uh the sprinkler system can behave in a behave in a way uh which is completely aligned uh, to the actual need so it need no it, it will not you know uh, uh it will not basically do the do the watering of the plants if the so if the moisture content is more and uh, it will completely rely on the data that is captured from these kind of sensors so in this way the water conservation is, is completely it can be completely optimized so you use less water less power and this is a good business gain for the uh, agriculture research and the second one is uh, typically the let's take one more example uh, take the case of uh the soil nutrients okay soil nutrients that is another uh, classic example so this will not i mean it also can basically look at uh, i mean measure the soil uh, the nutrients and it can pass the, the data back to the back end system and uh, the back end uh, system basically can analyze and give you data saying that okay the soil is losing its uh uh nutrient levels nutrients levels and uh, please uh, apply some kind of fertilizers so based i mean uh, this kind of sensors i mean if, if these days you find different types of sensors which can give the uh, like the uh, potassium how much is the potassium in the soil and uh, all these kind of uh, different uh, soil parameters can be can be sensed by the sensor and sent to the back end system based on that you can basically apply the fertilizers so that is one another classic classic example like that if uh, one more one more example i can show you so on the right you can see some of them are in uh, orange color so i'm just showing that it is affected by some pest so the sensors also can some of the sensor devices also can have some kind of you know uh, high sensitive uh, sensing module it may be a combination of a smart cam and uh, with the other sensing parameters it will be monitoring the plants at any point of time if it sees any kind of pest formation on the branch or the leaves it basically sends the data back to the back end system saying that okay it sees some kind of uh, abnormal growth some foreign bodies are present in the plant so in that way in this way you can take a decision okay okay this is a time to apply the pesticides So these are the three classic examples. One is the soil, uh, the watering. The second one is basically the nutrients for applying your fertilizers, and third one is the pest control. So these are the three typical uh, typical uh, business needs for for any agricultural you know farmer because this is comp this is definitely going to be very critical for the for getting a good yield from his uh, farming. as well as you know it is uh, very critical for uh, for the farmer to uh, make sure that okay so what our money he is putting in for the 
for the farming uh, is uh, is in a controlled manner and uh, his basically his capex goes down and his yield goes up he makes more money so this can be employed in any agricultural field so if you have any requirements let us know so we can do some kind of uh, proof of concept for the, the farming uh, community so this is one one example i just wanted to give you i i was just trying to talk in a very simplified manner just to make sure that i don't use any technical jargons nothing to summarize it's pretty much very simple the watering process can be improved drastically the use of fertilizers optimized controlling the pest so that you get a high uh, high and a good yield i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you understood a feel of how this functions in a agricultural field in the next topic uh, next topic will be like we'll uh, talk about the iot uh, applications in the transportation segment and uh, also followed by the iot for moving and uh, fixed assets tracking so that will be the part four so we com will complete the uh, for uh, sessions and then we'll get on to i've been getting a lot of curious what is 5g 5g is coming 5g is coming so where are we on 5g so what is 5g so i'll be explaining very in detail what is 5g in a very layman's point of view so it will be very easy for you to understand the difference between the different uh, uh, network uh, topologies and uh, what only can expect from 5g so 5g is getting rolled out in the north america europe everywhere i'm sure in india and other parts of the asia so definitely this will be coming up uh, as a hot topic so i hope you enjoyed the enjoyed this video please uh, subscribe to smart tech win and uh, press the bell icon and uh, here after uh, i'm just planning to put uh, a video every day so just to bring more continuity and please refer refer this videos to your friends and friends and family and uh, so the main differentiation i tr i'm trying to bring into my uh, sessions is to make it very simple i just want to talk in your language so that <laughs> it is uh, it is it is very much very much useful for all you guys so have a nice uh, have a nice weekend and uh, this, uh, this is a long weekend for us july 4th as you know we celebrate the independence day here in the us i know it is pandemic uh, pandemic time you know it's not the right time to go out and you know uh, go out to places guys i know we are running through a very difficult time i hope you you are all safe and wear a mask be responsible for the local city guidelines and be safe so so i'm just stopping my video here so i hope you enjoyed the uh